What's up, everybody? We're back again. It's the Dad Bod Golf Pod episode 37. What's up, gang? What up? 37. That's a score that Ben will never shoot on nine holes. Oh, that wow. Is. Yikes. <laughs> Two right. cores lights in, and Nate is just absolutely Maybe not, in a butthole. Maybe not Kyle either. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I maybe, may not Nate, maybe not Nate either. Not I've today. peaked. I've peaked. Um, Maybe not Nate even on seven holes if we just go and scale it back. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. (laughs) So, like we said, this episode 37, we're going to have a little bit of more tour championship talk. Um, Guys, when you're listening to this, we're going to have a round in. Uh, When we're recording, we're about like halfway through the first round. Mm -hmm. We're just going to go ahead and just rip each other apart on our pick so far um, and kind of discuss where we stand and uh just go from there but before we do something doesn't feel right i can't Uh-oh. something doesn't feel right uh oh um hold on one second guys Uh-oh. oh wow yeah, did like... you did you feel your iq just go up right there oh my god There's i feel no like chance. I chance good chemistry. gracious let's do some hey, chemistry gang you ready if you are listening on spotify or apple right now turn it off and go to youtube right at this moment this is the benefit of youtube and if you just ate, be careful because you might throw up. I, yeah, pull, I think I pull this off fairly well. God, I think I pull man. it off better than Bryson. Even if you I'm start big, talking in a Scottish accent right now, it's over. Even though I'm a big Bryson fan. Even though I'm a big Bryson fan. You I look think, so bad. I think I pull it off better <laughs> than him. Hey, I got a lot of good compliments today. I wore this for my round today. I, I got a bunch of good compliments. So, could yeah, be a did. thing. Could be you a should thing. have seen people when you weren't listening. <laughs> Maybe they were just well, we, the only people that were giving compliments when we went by the old people's houses, Nate, like on the course, like everybody that was old sitting on the back porch, they were like, Hey, you look good. Sorry. Uh, chicks, <laughs> dig it. chicks dig it. Chicks did the driving cap for sure. Yeah. Hey, All let's right, so get, uh, picks... let's get Kaylin's opinion on that. Let's get a quick <laughs> opinion yeah. from your wife. She, I sent her a pic. She didn't, she was not a fan. She was not a fan. Um, mm. so our picks for this week. Um, Nate really dug deep and went out there on a limb and picked Patrick Cantlay, who started off with a two-shot lead. Hey, go look in the mirror. Actually, don't. I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> I picked – I stuck with my, my guns. I went with Bryson. And yeah, then, you guys uh, really – you really got – you all went outside the box. That's awesome. And Ben threw a Hail Mary. I'm just going to be yeah. honest. Ben threw a Hail Mary. Uh, Call Mark Alice started off at three under. He's and, still a uh, three under. He's still there as we speak. <laughs> Did you guys see John Rom crying on the first tee box because Ben just left him out in the cold? Ben did, but Colonel Steve didn't. Colonel Steve. Yeah, that's right. Kept him warm also, and cozy. Colonel and Steve then, sits there and hits the refresh button from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. on the podcast, I'm yes. pretty sure. Just you, know, you know when we when we update our listens, Colonel Steve is number one every – he's the number one yep. listener of the day. First listener. Every single day. So, big shout out to Colonel Steve. Here's, here's the thing: is I go ahead and I'll make fun of myself. The guy that I kicked out, Victor yeah. Hovland, is five under. Broken it. Yeah, he's he's. Nice. But you know what? That just shows Double. that I I really made a good pick kicking him out because he wouldn't be moving up the the ranks if I kicked him out because he wouldn't be beating your guy who's at three under. Yeah, he wouldn't right be now. beating my guy. Yeah, yeah, he wouldn't be beating my guy. He, gotcha. He's so, still not beating my guy. Just. Well, I so mean, you got to, you went ahead and took the guy that was already 10 under. That'll wait to really. In fairness, in fairness for today's <laughs> score, Patrick Kentley is one under and Bryson's one over and <laughs> more cows. But, but as Kyle likes to say, it's a season long race. It's a, we're so, playing the long game. We're playing the long you know, Oh, it's a, yeah, there's, there's going to be four rounds. There's no cut. So we'll see how it all ends up. I so will golf? say that my, uh, my 16 through 30 pick, Hideki Matsuama, is hanging out on 80 watch right now so kyle go ahead and say 80 watch he'll shoot 79 if you say 80 watch 80 watch 80 watch yeah, he is he's dfl he's seven over for the day he is taking that 350 and riding to the house yeah no problem he's gonna be one of the guys on sunday that plays by himself and and finishes in an hour and a half and you're just like how, how is dude. what a confidence booster it is though that since he started out at one under, he's plus seven on the day. He's still plus six That's on right. the tournament. So that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Hey, so we have conf- we have confirmation that Patrick Reed teed off and he is in the field. Yes, true. He's two over. Not, for not in last place right now. Just he's by the way. two over. Yeah, for the yeah, day. Yeah, and for the tournament. Um, really pulling for him. 
not to I, I hope Hideki can nobody's pulling for him. Only only people pulling for him is Caddy and his wife. That's the only two people pulling for him. And well, also like a country of a billion people, but you know, besides that, Patrick, just his caddy and his no, wife. No, we're talking about Patrick Reed. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were talking about more yeah. uh not more cow. No, no, Patrick him. Patrick Reed has only got his caddy, who's his brother in law, and his yep. wife. That's the well. His mother-in-law probably may be pulling for him. And maybe. people who make IS-250s, so yeah, they're pulling yeah. for him too. Patrick and his wife will stab anyone who is against him. So Yeah, I, I, I really hate, like, talking bad about him because I've kind of – it makes it tough to sleep at night, to be honest with you, because – I'm uh, terrified, to be honest. You might get yeah. something stolen. Yeah. It, it, yeah. <laughs> or stab. Dude, I just – I have ruined any chance of him ever coming on this podcast. No, he'll right? never – There's no yeah. – there's no chance. But he'll you wouldn't go on any podcast. He doesn't go on any – yeah, everybody's going to rip him, so he doesn't go on any. He just – That's what he, the deal is. We should be his fans. We should be his fans, and then he comes on our show before anybody else's, and – we got to work this thing in reverse, guys. Clearly, yeah, you're we'll, doing that with Bryce. No I mean, we, yeah. we see yeah. how hard you're working no, at No, it. Yeah. The fact that no. you're pulling for Bryce, and you're day. dressing like him. Yeah, man. You're hitting yeah. like him. You're awkward like him. I'm just kidding, Kyle. I love not you. True. Not true. <laughs> I, I, I'm silky smooth. Silky smooth. Yes. All right. So, uh, Nate, look, Nate's looking good right now for the weekend. Um, y'all stay tuned. Like we said, Nate had Patrick Cantlay. Cantlay. Um, Kyle had, aka me, had Bryson DeChambeau. Ben yeah. had Colin Morikawa. It was a yeah. really a big Hail Mary. Um, we, I think we woke Ben up with the text last night asking for his pick. Um, so we're going to give him a pass on on picking the guy who is like started off third in the FedEx Cup and now he's like 13th. Yeah. Um, Nate, we start off way behind, but you know what? Nate, it is a four day tournament. Ben. This guy right. can go low. Uh, you, you guys you have to come on. He's going to have to go way low. Stay with me. All right, so we want to talk a little bit more about the Bryce and Brooksy deal and, um, you know, how that spun sort of out of control and gotten into, you know, like it's total – all the focus is on the Brooksy deal and there's so many more bad things that people say on the golf course and we kind of wanted to go around the horn. What's the worst, the dumbest thing that you hear? And what's some some things you'd like to hear? And uh, just kind of go around the horn. And I'll go first. Put it here. Ben, let's go. Go. Ben. I hate all of it. I don't think they should. I think anybody that talks during any swing or yells anything should be kicked out. Really? Yes. How are you, you like? You I don't like it. Just the whole old. the whole get in the hole thing when they're on a par four. That's not going to happen. So that just shows you are clueless to golf. When they tee off on a par five, get in the hole. Shut up. What are you doing? Put the beer down. Like that is not like you should only do that on a par three. And if it's not even headed towards the green, why are you still screaming it? Like shut up. Yeah. So I'm not a big fan of it, any of Whoa. it at all. Like, yes. Have I flipped? Yeah, a little bit. I don't think they should be able to yell it. Although I still stick by my guns that the guys that get really upset about it should chill out a little bit. Like just which guys are you talking about? Well, uh, we're all over the map right I there. Think, I think he's right here on the screen, Nate. He's right. Oh, no, yeah. no, it's not him. It's it's the other guy. It's Bryson that gets upset. Of, like, uh, Hey, but, welcoming to the podcast today's guest, old Tom Morris. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hitting moms. No, moms. When, you, when you say what should they be allowed to do, number one, and this is going against Augusta too, I think everybody should be allowed to have a phone. There is a silent button. If you don't put the silent button on, then you should be kicked out. But everybody should be allowed to have a phone so they can take pictures. Uh, number two, if you start screaming random crap and somebody swing, yeah, you're gone. Like, you've done it to yourself. And so that's my thing. You know what you should be allowed to do? Say, hey, good shot, Brewski. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Good shot. Yeah. Um, Brewski. Because they all they always get overzealous and they start screaming before they should, or they're screaming at the wrong time when they're yelling, as I said, on a par five or a par four, get in the hole. No, mashed potatoes, whatever that's all about, done. That's yep. what made its way through. So yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of any of that whatsoever. Nate, what you got, man? So getting the hole was like made iconic by Tiger, I guess. Like there it used to be it used to mean something like he would be there'd be got there'd be people lining you know he'd be in the woods and there'd be people like he'd have like a 10 foot window with people on either side to hit and he'd hit and people were just screaming get in the hole that was iconic for a while unfortunately it has worn out um 
mashed potatoes is a horrible excuse that's terrible. for something to yell. How yeah. did that even get in there? How did that yeah, that's, in the rotation? Was that a yeah. Bubba thing? Was that was that a Bubba thing? Not today, Bubba. Not today, Bubba. Which I just uh I think that it's become like who can yell it the quickest after contact. Yes. Nobody cares. They're like, can I time it to where my start yelling a centimeter after contact? Um this is just Nate, a shame. Nate, do you, think that, do you think that they do that because they want to text their buddy and say, that was me? Like, oh, that's what they – No that's, doubt. That's the whole reason they're doing it? Which – people in a crowd encourage each other, right? Like, so the first guy who does it, the other guy's like, hi, that was funny. Like, I'm going to do ch- – check this out. I'm going to do it next. Yeah. And it's, it's, just, it's gotten over it. Um, I would love to see – and this is just a shameless plug for the, a guy I play with out at my club, at U Club – uh uh uh-uh. just anytime there's a good shot if we have a hundred people when somebody hits a ball uh uh-uh. that it could really be electric will it last for like a month before it gets old absolutely absolutely but uh we'll never stop yelling get in the hole i don't think that'll ever stop in golf um mashed potatoes hopefully will phase out soon what about the oh yeah they got dropped last weekend with jt yeah, I think an isolated incident better than get out of the, better than get in the bunker. I guess I, I saw isolated incident. <laughs> I mean, do you guys still like it if they yell "get in the hole" on a putt? Like, is that still acceptable if you yell on the green versus a par four tee box? Where it's do we draw on that the line? Green. It's more. It's more on vulnerable. the green. At least there's a chance. I mean, there's not a chance when they're teeing off on a par five and you hear the guy yeah. screaming it after they hit the tee ball. It's like, but if it's bro. like a six footer, they haven't even had chance to yell all the way getting the hole and it turns to get in the hole. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, that's so. true. It kind of drowns. If it's gotta be a long putt. So they got a chance to yeah. get all the, all the syllables out. When they, when they I end. would, I would say funny things like mashed potatoes is funny once. And then and you have to go to the, you, you gotta, you gotta go back to the drawing board. I do. Yeah. But see the new once. rule is cause Kyle talked about it last time. Negative. You can't be negative. Yeah. You can still so be really not funny. But so they're considering can't be negative anymore. They're considering Brewski negative, and you've seen the other pros that have come out. I still say Brooksy. James Hahn was by far the the, the yeah, yeah Brooksy. Uh, I still say that James Hahn was by far the funniest one to to come back and yeah. and do his deal. I would um, say if I'm at the Torch Championship this weekend, I'm going to figure out what Bryson's middle name is, and I am going to scream it until my vocal cords burst. Okay, I'm Sam, call we, let's look, look, Sam kicking you out then. We're not Do looking. Look We're not up? looking. No, don't look, Nate. Don't. Okay. No, 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 no. You look. can't. Yeah. No, you can't look. Guess. Everybody guess what Bryson's middle name is, and I'm gonna look it up, and I'm and I'm gonna tell you if you're right. So uh, that this this will be funny. So, um, Nate, go ahead and go first. What is Bryson's middle name? Bryson Patrick Deshamba. Patrick is not a bad. That's not a bad middle name. Bryson Patrick is your daddy. Oh my God, he's got two middle names. He's got oh, two no. names. Yes. Wait, you didn't even make a pick. I said I wasn't. I was going to correct y'all. Go uh, ahead. I was going to go Benjamin. with something like Nathaniel. Bryce he's already Nathaniel. he's already said Very that he's biblical. got two middle names, and that took mine because I took a first name. I was going to say Edward. Edward Bryson. Yeah. Edward. That sounds better. Yeah, it's that doesn't flow well. Bryson James Aldrich. The There's no chance we'd have ever got that. James Aldrich. Is that two words or one? Is it two. hyphenated? Not even a hyphen. It's two. Hey, two could you get a spelling for Aldrich? A L R D R I C H. Whoa, that's I don't even Yikes. know. Nope. Calls. Stop. Nate quit. A L D R I C H. It's the it's the hat. Nate is just all of a sudden. <laughs> I was gonna say Nathaniel. Nathaniel sounds like it would flow. Bryson Nathaniel DeChambeau. That yeah. That kind of sounds like it's like a little bit of douche, and then there's some biblicalness in the middle. So he's That'd be cool. His 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 uh his initials start off BJ. Yeah, BJ AD Bryson yeah. James Aldrich. Just, just, just not going. I'm not going there with that. He's I'm going not, south, not, and I got his hat on. Bryson, I'm not touching. I'm your that. biggest fan, like bar none. So just we believe, can tell. Believe that. Believe that. Okay. All right. So here's my thing. I think all PGA Tour events should be able to dis, um, should be able to basically like shut down or like um, interfere with TikTok and Snapchat. So in other words, if you come in, your TikTok and Snapchat are disabled. Okay. So now, bro, 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 and Brad and Chad can't be like. Brooksy and put it on my Snapchat or put it on my uh because that's what it is. It's drunk bro bro that is trying to be funny and it's not funny at all. So so 
turn off PGA Tour, figure out how to scramble or disable uh, Snapchat and TikTok, and you're going to solve 90% of this. You may still have your Instagram and this, that, and the other, but you know, you're not going to have the, the like instant gratification of a TikTok loop or a Snapchat, this, that, and the other. See, but I don't think that's doable because it, because they're going to have to leave the None camera. None of this is doable, Ben. None of this is doable. This no, they, is it's, it's doable right because they can, they can scramble them where they can at least broadcast it, but they still can like video themselves doing it. See what yeah, I'm you saying? You can do Instagram, but you can't do TikTok. Got them. There you go. Got <laughs> hey, so I have a, I, I've been thinking about this for the last, you know, 45 seconds. We at golf has grown so much. The people who attend golf tournaments have diversified so much. You go to a baseball, football, basketball game, anything goes. Go to an Auburn football game and you will hear some things that you do not want your mother to hear yelled from the stands. But sure. somehow when we get to golf, we still have this no. Mm -mm. We can't yell. We can't call somebody else's somebody's name. Brooksy is not a bad word. You could say it in front of your mom. But now all of a sudden we can't say it to somebody. It's just interesting because golf has grown so much, diversified so much. But we've still got these old school leanings, old but school. The, the uh, thing is, oh, it's, it's the gone, no fun league. That's it's a, that's gone what beyond. It's gone so far beyond. Let's just have fun. It's like, I mean, when when other tour players are saying, I can't even play with Bryson in the same group of Bryson because the fans are ridiculous. They're not funny. It's just. It's just Brooksy, Brooksy, Brooksy as loud as they can the whole time he plays after every shot, after he comes off every green. Like, it's it's be, it's be totally beyond, like, let's just go cut up and have a good time. It's like, it's sort of like, it's almost like incredibly malicious and it's only directed towards one player. Well, then That's they it. haven't played with Tiger in his heyday. And Justin Thomas. Do what? <laughs> what? And Justin Thomas, yeah. I mean, uh -huh. Tiger during his heyday, I mean, it, it – that's the biggest reason that nobody liked playing with Tiger. It had nothing to do with them yelling stuff at him. It had the fact that they everybody said it's hard to concentrate because there's constantly people moving, people want to get to the next shot, that kind of thing. So he's got to learn to he, – he's just going to have to deal with that. And other players are going to have to learn to deal with it too. Because Not anymore. Not anymore. We're shutting yeah. that down yeah. right now. So what's the next step? So when Tiger comes back, if he's got the, the drove of people that are, are following him, and somebody says it breaks their concentration, then all of a sudden we got to kick all those people out too because they're going to the next hole to see Tiger T. No, because but if they if they call him since the beginning of time, that's been if they say it Eldrick, been, you but can it say hasn't it. been the last two years. And they can yeah, they can say Eldrick, they can say Eldrick. like yeah, it's it's when it crosses the point of being it's it's instead of just like multiple fans now it's like let's be we're being malicious, and when 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 it's crossed that point that's when. That's why the PGA Tour decided to step in and take a stand, and I, for one, commend it. Let's let's take care of the best, the most, the guy that makes the dot the dial move, the meter right now, Bryson, the guy that's going to make the whoa the, whoa the, whoa. The he's TV not the meter. What? He's no, he's not the meter. In. He is the meter right now. Good. No, he's not. You got to protect your asset, one hundred percent. Protect your asset. He's interesting. He's not the meter. He's the he's no. the dial. He he's the blinker the that got left on driving down the road, and people Wrong. go, "Oh crap!" There's a That's blinker hating. going on. You're, you're just hating right now. <laughs> there, you can't deny it. You can't deny it. He is the guy that moves the needle right now. We got to take your hey, hat off. Hey, can I can I quote uh, Patrick Cantley real quick talking about Bryson and heckling Never. real fast? Never. This this is Patrick Cantley on fans heckling Bryson DeChambeau. Of course, there is some sympathy because you don't want to see anybody have a bunch of people be against you or even be heckled. I think when you have people that go for attention-seeking maneuvers, you leave yourself potentially open to having the wrong type of attention. I think that was way too wordy, and he's a nerd too, just like Bryson. And I think both of you picked the wrong dudes to support. But the thing is, you that go you're right saying ahead. That Bryson is doing this for attention. Yeah, Bryson and, and, does not. It, does he not know any better? Bryson is doing this because he thinks he's done the math, he's done the science, he's done all the equations oh, boy, behind it. Math he's doing this relative. because he thinks it's gonna. He thinks it increases his chance to win. That's the only thing. That's the only reason he's doing it. So you just said it. He's out. he's wanting people to shut up so it increases his chances to win, but lowers the chances of everybody else. Right? What? You're talking about the, ma that the maneuvers that he makes. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> That doesn't even make sense. No, Bryson is 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 bulking up. He's doing long drive, all the stuff because he thinks it increases his chance to win. 
Bryson doesn't care about if if he cared about PR, he's doing it way the wrong way. Like he needs a new PR guy. Like he clearly does not care about PR. Mm. True or false. True or false. The longest false. silence <laughs> ever on this podcast. That's a false. Yeah. He he cares about the PR. If he didn't care about the PR, this would not have been called into the no. PGA Tour. To I think he cares. Really I just don't think he it. knows. He doesn't care about PR. He just cares about his feelings, basically, right now. <laughs> it's just it, they're clearly getting hurt. Yeah from the crowd so like uh, clearly kyle doesn't care about pr or else he wouldn't be wearing this hat on the podcast no. right now hey, also, again if you are listening what, on spotify or apple right now turn it off and go to youtube now i don't even care i'm i'm gonna make it a thing bryson love you buddy I'm, gonna, I'm i got your back we're going we're going driving cap for life i got the tan driving oh cap today with a swanee's polo Looking sharp. My head's a little big. It's kind of, I, I might need to go with a different size. It's a little bit, uh, the circulation is somewhat cut well, the, being cut off. Yeah. The guy that you got that from has less hair than you do, though. So that's true. That's true. Just, no, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to say this. Nate, one thing that was uncanny today is Kyle's profile. We always see him face on like this right here. His profile standing on like the green and on the tee box, very Bryson esque. Very Bryson esque. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that, guys. I don't know that that's yeah. really the road we want to go down, but I'm just saying it's very Bryson S. You know, how it has his logo as his profile. You just, I'm going to do one, but just with a much bigger nose because my nose is really big. So, like, just look, do the profile. look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that. Just go out further. Did that look like Bryson? Yes. You guys remember the movie Chariots of Fire? That's all I can think of when I see Kyle right now. That is a real big Nine, 1924 wow. Olympics. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. but I don't think fine, he man. has any idea That'd what he's good. talking about, but whatever. It, it, won, it won an Oscar in like 1983. Don't mess with me about Chariots of Fire. <laughs> Come on. I believe you. I'm going to have to take your word I for it. I wasn't alive, but I know you guys were. I'm going to have to take your word for it. So last thing is we finally got to all get together. Yep. Ben has overcome his – murderous organ that tried to take we're not we're not quite there yet he's uh sort of we're, overcome it we, we we're about a club play. and a half two we're about club and a half two clubs off and then we're nate, good nate was a little too cool to play in the same group with us yeah we he was the same course you took same i had to find out that you guys had tea times from my guys that i play with on thursday so let's not, not talk about not that nate, i get a text from the guy i play with every thursday and be like hey the podcast guys took our tea time <laughs> Anyways, I will uh, say I had nothing is, to do with that. I just went for the I got invited and I went. That's I had nothing to do with that. I, I pulled up and like, you know, you talk to people on the phone every day where you work and you know what they sound like, but you know what they look like. I mean, obviously, I know what Ben looks like, but I've talked to Ben basically every day for the last, I don't know, month. And then yeah. I saw him today and I was like, oh, oh, much better is. looking, right? Yeah. yeah, the camera does you so much justice. Real life. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> y'all had a nice warm embrace it was it was yeah. uh, nice we one. yeah it bring a tear to a glass eye that, that yeah embrace. we hugged we hugged you know, close and he was he was much more impressed with, with me than you because i wasn't wearing that hat that was there was no doubt about it, it. <laughs> i didn't wear it until i needed to i needed to make something happen and then i we, will say you played much better on the back with the hat on than you did yeah, on the front i did I so played, you played I, nine holes and then put the hat on yeah mm -hmm. i did I did. He I was, was wearing like, another. He was wearing another hat, and he was not doing well at all. No. When I got there, Kyle was on the range, AirPods in, just having a Bryson range session, just like hit a ball and then slam clubs, yelling, screaming, throwing the range ball oh, bags around. You got to go. So I was like, you know, what? I'm just gonna go talk to Ben <laughs> up at the clubhouse, have myself a cocktail. Because you, because you know, he's not warming up. That's the right. thing yeah, you're thinking. No. There's no chance Ben's warming up. He's tea he's time not. was 10 20, 10 16. Ben's like, What's up? Just pulled up. What's up? Let's roll. What time we tell y'all? No, it was uh, fun. It was fun to get to see. Get uh, that's actually the first time Ben and I have played together. So, um, yep. And we play, we play two opposite games, but I think we kind of ended up close to the same spot after mm -hmm. the after the round. We were playing a little team game. So, I don't exactly know what we shot somewhere around, you know, low eighties. Uh, but, um, we, uh, we played a little bit further back than Nate cause Nate likes to hit off the tee box. He likes to hit off the baby tees. So, um, yeah, we played, we played a little tee box. We had, to play, we had to play from the big boy tee box. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Well, it's probably why you shot 83. Kyle. <laughs> well, Hey, it's further. So back. I was missing the guys, the, appendix. the yeah. guys I play with, we, we had this game and there's a, there's a putter that we have and it resembles a body part 
You yeah. just do the math in your head, okay? That's where I'm stopping right here on this family friendly podcast. You just, you just, just say it. It's it resembles a, it's a big it, wiener. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's a male wiener. member. It's, it's a male member. Wiener. That's what it so, is. Yeah. So the first guy to three putt gets that putter, and you have to putt with it until the next guy three putts. Or if you make a birdie with the member, you get to give it away. <laughs> so right. a guy three putts on like two, and he gets it. And then I, I've got like a twenty foot birdie putt on four, blast it past. And there's a lot of pressure. My partner was already in for birdie. I, normally, I just pick that putt up for par. I miss Not it. Game. I've, I've got that putter from five until I sink a 20-foot birdie putt on 16. With the wiener. So, for five through 16, I've got a putt. And, like, I've got eight 10-foot birdie putts, no chance. Four-foot par putts, no chance. And I finally make a birdie and give it to another guy. But, um, yeah, I mean, 79 where, like, I don't know, 12 or 13 holes of it is putting with something that's – not my putter, you, I, you know. Uh, looking at it I'm, too, Nate. Yeah, big time. <laughs> is at least like one side of it somewhat flat, or is it just? Yeah, like the bottom of it's flat. It's just oh, that. Just imagine what you're looking at. Yeah. I the mean, the the anatomy is strikingly. Uncanny. It's uncanny. Yes. Uncannily accurate. Yes. Well, good. Not for proportional, you, but. Anyway, good for you, I had a couple of good. We had some good video. We're gonna we're gonna post soon. C- a couple of good sweet rolls. I'm, I'm, I'm. Videos. <laughs> what's, what's up, man? Nothing, man. I'm I'm just go imagining ahead, Nate. Say it. I'm imagining Nate just. You know, it's, it. he's, you, he's he's carrying it for ten to fifteen holes. Always man. stroking. He's I kept always looking for stroking, a putter head cover. No doubt. <laughs> I kept looking for a putter head cover when I came back to my car and there weren't any. But you know how you start you rooting trojan. for guys. Like, if there's a guy who has a 25-footer, you're like, oh. Even my own teammate. I'm like, oh, he might three. Let me go ahead and make par so he can three-putt this. Yes. Nobody. They're sinking six, eight, nine-footers for par. Nobody. Three-putt. The rest of the time. The only reason I got to give it away is because I made birdie. The motivation so. the motivation factor there is is huge as far yeah. as, like, making putts. Um, oh, yeah. You don't want to get that putter in your hand. People you go nuts when you make a three-footer for par that doesn't mean anything because it means Nate has to keep the – Yeah, there's no doubt. Yeah. yeah. So, I gotta get in. I, I think um I think I gotta get on that game. I could be I could we'll hold put a sweet rolls grip. I could on. hold the record for the longest time with the weenie. So um yeah, you that, you can only have it for 17 holes. That's the most you can have it with because nobody starts with it. That's so, a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. I put it pretty good today. Uh I was, yeah, I was gonna say did you three putt? I had one three putt. Of course, I, I missed a lot of green, so I had a lot of one putts too. I don't think I, I had just, a three putt today. I just two uh, putts. I just a lot of two putts, a few one putts for par and bogey, and I just hacked it around all day. But the sweet rolls grip, guys. The sweet rolls grips, you gotta get one. They just feel amazing. Ben can attest, they look amazing. Yes. When I would when I make a putt and it was tracking. I just holler out sweet roll. He did. That was, I really yeah. missed an opportunity to have my camera rolling. There were a couple of par putts he made from, let's just call it eight feet. Could have been more, could have been 10, could have been six. I don't know. Let's just call it eight feet. It's, it, it's two feet off his putter head. He goes, sweet rolls. Pour it in. Yeah. Nice. Pour it in. Hey, you better make it though, because we do not want any bad publicity if you start yelling sweet rolls. Oh and no, butts. he did a he did a good job. He yeah, you better he make only sure that did it when he, right was, in the when he was making it. Between that and his uh, Swanee's um, his shirt that he had the entire time, which I was trying to get him to do the hat, but we did the Bryson hat instead. But he had the Swanee shirt the whole time. Yeah. He, he was he was flexing, man. All right, guys, episode thirty seven. Appreciate it. Hey, shout out Swanee's. Dad bought golf pod dash 25. Yes. Get this. You can get that. Yes. Nate's looking good. Ben is not a team player right now. I will say he's that, getting his box soon and he's going to be hooked up. Yeah. What's in the yeah. box? Get, get in the box soon. And and I re, I was wondering what Nate's would look like because I, I saw it online. Not that I don't like yours, Kyle. But I like it's Nate's sharp. shirt a lot more. I thought I thought that was a sharp yeah. shirt, man. How did it That's feel like when you box. how did it feel when you hugged me? I good. wouldn't pay, I wouldn't pay attention to the shirt at that point in time. Quit. <laughs> there you go. There we go. There we go. I didn't have the butter then yet, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet rolls. Uh, I'm sorry. Swannies.co. Uh, Dad bod golf pod dash 25. Yep. Take 25% off your order. Sweet rolls golf.com with a Z. Dad bod <laughs> 20. 
Take twenty yes. percent off your next order. Get you a grip. The site is absolutely loaded right now with grips. They got all the grips in stock. Um, load up. Get you a good one. Uh, order something, you know, Dad Gummit. Order something, Dad Gummit. Oh, J- hey, just got a notification. Harris English just made an ace of the tour championship. Oh boy! And that's somebody that nobody here's picked except for me twice. What is? What does he look like? Does he look like Swafford? What does he look like? Harris English. You'll never know. You'll never know. <laughs> just think of just think of like your five like iron the dude that lives two houses down from you. That's probably what Harris English hey, is like. The five iron from I think that hole is two twenty four. It's the first ever ace on that fifteenth hole. The I think 15th? it's two twenty four over water, which that hole Brooksy that. dunked in the water earlier. He did. He dunked it. He yeah. Brooksy. So you can't say that. You can't say Brooksy. I can't I bet that. Harris is gonna wear a striped shirt tomorrow, so it's solid. I don't know. What do y'all think? Stripe show. Because he's a striped show. Hey, a 223, 230 over water to an island green with a five iron. Yeah. How about it, Harris? Ben, do you have that in the bag? No, I don't have that's a, that's a three wood all the way from. I was at, no, I was asking if you could hit any club in your bag that far. None of us oh, have that. that. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I played the orange tees today. I will say that. Ooh. Oh, Congratulations. Oh, oh. Shot, shot, hey, shot. Ben, meet me out there right now. Come on. I also that's didn't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't play with the phallic putter either. So there's that too. That's good. That's good. You did have a few three putts, but <laughs> the dad had one. Had one, had one putt. three putt. <laughs> hey, catch us. Uh, catch us next week. Y'all have yes. a good weekend. Enjoy the tour championship. Monday we'll do a wrap up. We'll probably fight a little bit more. We're going to talk about Bryson coming back and winning. Or or Patrick Cantlay melting down. I don't know. We'll see. We'll flip a coin. Definitely. We'll got some, got some cool. Though. Got some cool interviews next week. So you guys yeah. uh, tune in for that. So that'll be awesome because we've got a few yeah. things set up and even more even pending. So it could be a really big week next week. Absolutely. Yeah, this is Absolutely. this is my bachelor weekend. Getting married in October. This is the weekend of my bachelor bachelor weekend. So really, yeah. Did you not get the invite? Anyway, do Dad it. Bod Golf Pod always stroking. <laughs>